Yes, I think um, I was fortunate at the very beginning um, at Edinburgh College of Art in the Edinburgh 60, in the early 60s, there was a huge emphasis on drawing and of practicing drawing and of the fact that you wouldn't, even after four years in an art school, you know, you'd still be a beginner, you still a long way to go. So we drew almost every day. I mean, we started off drawing from the antique casts, which was a nightmare in a sense, but it had to be done as it were. And uh, we would come back to, uh, we would draw all Friday. And the next Friday, the, we, we were told, you've got to work, still work on this drawing. <laughs> you had to overwork it, you had to really, you had to ruin it really, and then go back again and start another drawing. And um, gradually you you learn so much that way. And then we did life drawing, anatomy, you know, this went on for f four years, but we still knew that there was a, a long way to go. So there's, there's always a discussion about drawing, almost every day, either with the professors or with our fellow students. And um, the idea of line as opposed to, to tone or mass, these things were discussed over our coffee break every single, every single morning. Uh -huh. So we knew it was going to be a long haul, and we looked almost every day too at the masters, at Rubens, you know, at Leonardo, and, uh, Vato, all these people were discussed. Um, so there it was, you know, the, the goals were laid out as it were, the aims were laid out, and um, you know, it was just a question of getting, of getting on with it and going on with it and not giving up mm -hmm. and uh, what was it, I remember John Byrne recently being asked about you know, what, what does it take you know, to, to be a painter and he, <laughs> he just looked at this person, sheer hard work he said and dogged determination, <laughs> there's, there's no other way of doing it yeah. but drawing was, is something that you have, um, you, know, you have to be clear about you have to have that kind of um, almost French clarity, you know, the anger, you know. and then you have to combine that with a sense of of French Romanticism, Delacroix. You have the two of them together, <laughs> and if you can look at them, study them, and think about and think about that, then you have a clear way of going forward. I think with drawing, mm -hmm. and it's so important. It's like the famous lecture that John Belney once gave in Australia. <laughs> they'd, they'd been building, they wanted him to give a lecture on drawing. They were pleaded with him, he didn't, I don't want to give a lecture, my days of lecturing are over. So I think he had a few drinks and uh, they eventually led him into this packed auditorium. And the, the, the principal of the art school, I think in Sydney said, and now Mr. Bellany, all the way from Scotland, is going to tell you all about drawing. <laughs> so John staggered to, the <laughs> staggered to the front of the lecture theatre and he went, I'm just going to say one thing, he said, if you can't draw, you're fucked. <laughs> and the auditorium, the students rose and cheered for about half an hour on end. And of course he was correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. He's right. Mm -hmm. and now you're An unusual way of putting it. <laughs> That's spot on. Mm -hmm.